obviously been quite a while since I've uploaded, um, certainly a while since I've done a vlog. The reason for that is that the last month plus, I would say, has been nothing short of insanity. I saw someone post online recently that creators should stop apologizing or over explaining when they take breaks because we're all human, everybody needs time to deal with personal stuff. And of course, like usually when I don't post for a while, it's not planned, it's just, it just happens. And I feel okay about it because of everything that's been going on. There was just no way that I could have maintained YouTube and also my sanity. As for the reason for my absence, um, I, I know I mentioned in my last video that we've had a lot going on and things have been incredibly stressful, but you know, also exciting. I guess I'm here to tell you that the main reason for that is that Paul and I bought a house. It all kind of happened very unexpectedly. We were, you know, interested in buying something, but also very realistic about the state of the market and you know, housing availability and all that. And so we had decided to stay in our apartment for another year. Um, and then as these things go, you just never know when you're going to find a house that is just exactly what you're looking for. Obviously buying a house is a huge privilege and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit in more detail, but it's also incredibly stressful. And I know that that's not news to anyone and people say that all the time, but I don't think I was prepared for the type of stress that it would be. Basically, since we, since the day that we saw the house, really, it's been nonstop stress ever since, and it hasn't stopped, even though we closed a few days ago. The most stressful part by far was the mortgage and dealing with the mortgage. Just like an ongoing anxiety dream that like you just don't wake up from, that's how it felt. And again, it feels weird complaining about a thing like this when like I said, it is such a privilege to even be able to be in this position at all, but it really is the worst everything people say about like banks and mortgages is uh, absolutely true. And in fact, I would say like it's, it's pretty, it's even understated because I wasn't expecting it to be how it was. So basically we closed at the beginning of September and we're moving at the end of September, which is nice. At first we were hoping to not have such an overlap with our lease, but I'm actually very grateful now that we do because there's just so much to be done before we move in. I'm obviously in the house now, as you might be able to tell by the echoey, empty sounding room. So we ended up buying an older house, which I'm very excited about. I have always felt drawn to older houses and the natural charm. And there's obviously a lot of advantages to buying an older house, but there are also disadvantages mainly being that the house is old and sometimes it shows that it's old. Honestly, like one of the main things I wanted was an older house with a lot of charm that didn't need any major updates or repairs, but that mostly just needed cosmetic updates. Personally, I would rather buy a house with outdated bathrooms and kitchen and then redo it myself one day rather than buy something that's been remodeled recently because then you're paying a premium in the home price for the remodel that they just did, but you're not getting, most likely you're not gonna be getting like the finishes that you want. You're like buying someone else's vision. And unless you have the same taste as them, which I've found like basically never happens with, with fresh remodels, um, then you're stuck with like paying higher price for fixtures and finishes that you don't really like. That being said, even though in this house the bathroom and kitchens are outdated, they're they're actually still pretty charming and hopefully we will be able to remodel them at some point in the not too distant future, but for now I, I really am quite fond of them. So I wanna say this, um, 
about buying a house and our ability to buy a house, I know that I don't owe anyone an explanation of our situation, our financial situation or anything like that. But I feel that it's important to acknowledge the fact that we would not have been able to buy this home without financial assistance from family. And I think that's pretty common. Most people that are buying homes in their 30s and even younger, if people are buying homes in their 20s or even people buying homes when they're older, most people, I would say most people buying homes are receiving some help from family. At least most of the people that we know who have purchased houses, that is the case. And like I said, it's not really anyone's business, but I also feel like there is so much kind of self-congratulatory home buying content, but there's not a lot of transparency about the reality of it, I think. And um, I think that a lot of times, you know, video content or posts where people are like, I bought a home can be triggering <laughs> if you're not in that position. I have definitely felt triggered by that type of content before. So that's not my goal at all for, for making this video. Um, it's more to explain why I've been so MIA and also you guys are obviously going to figure out when we move. I just think it's important to be transparent about that personally for the reasons I mentioned. Um, yeah, like I said, we're, we're very privileged and we've also worked hard in order to be able to afford to do this, but that's not the only thing that's allowing us to do this and I'd be lying if I said otherwise. So with that being said, I feel like we should get into more of the fun stuff. Uh, Paul and I, like I said, we closed on Friday. The closing day was really overwhelming. It was actually also on our anniversary, which is really nice, but it meant we really didn't celebrate our anniversary because it was just a lot of running around and stress and exhaustion. On Saturday, we had cleaners come in and do a deep clean, which was so worth it. And it was pricey, but it was something we were definitely willing to pay for to just kind of feel like a fresh start. And the house was, not in horrible condition, but it certainly wasn't super clean. And I just feel like it it felt like a nice reset to have that. On Saturday also, we realized that some of our neighbors were having a tag sale. And so we went over and checked it out. And not to brag, but I kind of made out like a bandit. Look at this, got these cat toys, two wands, really nice wands, ball with a jingle in it, little, Probably a little catnip mouse sterno to go with the s'mores wizard that I have acquired. So I literally got all of that for five doll hairs. I'm really excited about the s'mores kit. Then we spent the rest of Saturday afternoon just pulling things out of walls. Uh, honestly, mostly just unscrewing nails and uh, ripping off adhesives from the walls the amount of adhesives <laughs> that the former owners have put on the walls was really pretty shocking. things like everywhere like what what are these people doing with these little sticky things and they're not coming off as well as they should oh please oh. what we've got to give here here we go oh. okay that sound was amazing but also a bunch of like powdery shit just like flew off, went into my mouth. What is this? Why is it all powdery? <coughs> okay, here's another one. We're gonna get the really satisfying sound again, <clears throat> but I'm gonna keep my mouth closed this time. I don't know what this fucking white powder is.
This is a little tool my mom gave me years ago. It's the coolest thing ever. It's this little compact thing, and in it you have a hammer, a screwdriver, can be at 90 degrees or straight, and then you have inside here all these different heads for it. Then you also have a measuring tape, a level, a, where is it? Flashlight, seriously, how amazing is this little thing? Sometimes, sometimes moms get you really, really useful nifty little things. I've used this more than probably any other tools in my toolkit. In the bedroom, there are these cute old lighting fixtures sconces, I guess, and they're white, but they're actually gold. And how much like kind of nicer would the gold be than this like chunky white? I don't know about that. Um, we also were able to pull down this big bulletin board that was on the wall of Paul's office that he didn't want there. And so that was a big relief to get that down. Is that it? Found I it. found it. And you found it. I found it. You found the hidden screw. <laughs> and then on Sunday, we came back to sage. So we had been wanting to sage. You know, we wanted to do it after the cleaners were here, but on Saturday, we were just so exhausted. And I was like, I, I'm just not feeling the saging today. So we came back on Sunday and did that. And that was really, really nice and special. And then yesterday, Paul's dad and stepmom were nice enough to come uh, to come to the house for the day and help out. They're both really, really crafty. They are like do-it-themselves type of people. They have remodeled their kitchen, their bathrooms themselves. They've done so much stuff themselves. I really admire them for that. And so we knew that they would be really helpful. We have a whole list of things that we would love to get Paul's dad's help with. And they were extremely helpful. We got a lot done yesterday. Didn't really take any clips because it was just a whirlwind. Aside from all the house stuff, things have just been really crazy and stressful in my life anyway. Um, September is always an insane, insane month for us. It just always is. It's never relaxing. Um, I think this September might take the cake of like the craziest September that we've had together. Basically in September, in a normal September, we have our anniversary, we have Paul's birthday, we have my birthday, and that's just like a normal September. But this year we also have a wedding coming up this weekend that we're going out of town for. We had the closing of our house. We have some other stuff some other stuff going on in our lives that's been stressful. I don't know if, if September is just weirdly always crazy for us. Let me know if you can relate to that or if you have another month <laughs> that's always crazy. Like I said, it is mostly good stuff, so that's good. You know, it's, it's stress that will end up yielding benefits in the end. Um, and also we have some stuff that we're like really, really looking forward to. I am so excited to go back to Rhode Island Veg Fest on September 17th. If you are in New England and you're able to make it on September 17th, I highly recommend grabbing a ticket. They probably will sell out. There's three sessions and I know the midday session has already sold out, but we went last year, I went to the late session last year 
which was the four o'clock session, I think. And it was so much fun. It was the best vegan festival that I've ever been to. There was so much amazing food, so many amazing vendors. Um, I think I'm gonna be posting a TikTok or a reel of it this week, just because I took so much footage last year that I never um, ended up posting. But this year I think I'm going to vlog it, so that'll be fun. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of work and stuff on the house while I'm here. I'm just here by myself right now. The first time I've been here by myself and it's, Quite nice, but I'll just show you guys a few fun little things about the house. And I probably will be vlogging like house content because why not? It's what I'm gonna be doing. And I really love watching house content, living vicariously, seeing what people do with their homes. Um, so hopefully you guys like that uh, because that will probably be what a lot of my vlogs will be, <laughs> be at least for the next few months. Um, I'm currently sitting in the living room. I just wanna let you guys know, we did buy an entire living room set and Paul and I joked that trying to find a couch was arguably more stressful than buying the house, which is a joke because buying the house was obviously more stressful. But <laughs> trying to buy a fucking couch in 2022 that is vegan and comfortable and not $10,000 it's a real uh, it's a real undertaking. I'm not gonna tell you what we bought because I will do a whole vlog of it when it gets delivered, but we finally pulled the trigger over the weekend and bought a whole living room set. Thankfully, we we're able to take advantage of Labor Day sales. We didn't wanna buy anything that we couldn't sit in first. That was really important to us. So I will say we bought our living room furniture from a major retailer and it is all vegan and um, You'll see, well, you'll see more about it. You'll see it when it comes. One thing about this house is that in a lot of the downstairs rooms, it has this textured plaster. And when I first saw this, I really didn't like it. Like I didn't like the idea of texture on the walls. I'd rather them just be smooth or that's what I thought. But the more that I'm here and the more that I see it, I actually really am kind of starting to like it. It does give the house a lot of character. It is, I think, original. You know, there's a big, big, a lot of conversation online about people buying older houses and then taking out all of the historical details that make it unique. And I don't wanna be one of those people. I wanna honor the history and the time period that it was built. And um, I'm actually now really digging the texture on the walls. I also wanted to show you guys parts of the kitchen because of course I'll be probably filming a lot in here. Kitchens have always been very important to me that they look a certain way and that I'm able to film in them if I want to. But with my channel, I'm doing less and less filming in the kitchen anyway. So it wasn't super important to me to have you know, a kitchen with an island that I can like stand behind and behind and film like a typical cooking video. And the kitchen, like I said, is very outdated, but I actually find it really charming. So these drawers, there are a ton of these drawers. As you can see, they're they're pretty outdated looking. It's it's not really showing, it's showing up a little more yellowy on camera, but it's like this really beautiful peachy. It's a, I think it's technically a salmon pink is what it is, but they're really nice drawers and Paul's dad verified that they're very high quality. They have these really charming little white and gold poles. And honestly, if we were to redo the kitchen, I would, I would probably consider keeping these and I most likely would keep them. Yeah. I really kind of like these. Then in the kitchen, we also have a ton of built-in open shelves, which I have mixed feelings about. I think that, um, it's nice to have built-in shelves, but when you are cat people, <laughs> open shelves don't really seem like a great idea, especially as a place to put, you know, breakable things. So we're obviously going to keep these for now, and I do not like the yellow <laughs> uh, backsplash or whatever you would call that, so I will be painting in there. And the style of the built-in cabinets is a little outdated as well but it's it matches like all the other built-ins in the house so they're okay the counters are also 
kind of outdated. It's like a, an even lighter pink. And then we've got like a darker pink paint. There. There's a lot of different shades of pink going on. So I think definitely for sure. And then here's an even lighter pink here. Definitely I will be painting most of this. Uh, white just because I, I can't can't change the countertops for now. I like the cabinets the floor has some color in it So I think we can do with with lightening up the kitchen with some white paint And then we have these lighting fixtures, which are very outdated at least they're not boob lights But they're not much better and there's <laughs> three of them and they just look kind of awkward So definitely want to change these out at some point, but yeah, there are a lot of other really nice and fun um, features in the house that I'm really excited about, but I'm gonna save that all for another vlog. This is probably pretty long already, and I'm just gonna do a little bit more work. Removing some stickies from the walls and also vacuuming because we've just created a lot of dust so far and um, lead paint problems. So I'm gonna make sure I vacuum things up really well. Thanks for coming back and checking out this video. Appreciate you sticking with me. Through the break. I just can't say how much I'm looking forward to the fall. I mean, September is going to be crazy, but I'm really looking forward to being moved in in October and just like getting cozy, getting things settled, and um, just feeling, feeling settled once again because I've been feeling very unsettled. But appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a great end of summer and I hope things are going well in your lives and I'll see you again soon. Bye.